Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the video. Today's video, we're gonna talk about everything you need to know about new tier limits. This is, there's so many new cards that got released to help tier limit. Tier limit scream, tier limit grief. You guys just need to know everything. Uh, so this video, I'm gonna discuss all the new cards, how you guys can utilize it your way. And there's just a thousand ways to play this deck. And I think it's absolutely busted. So if you guys are ready for this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. Can you guys believe that? We're like 24,000 away or something. I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. I really want to hit 100,000 within six months. Let's do it, guys. I love you guys. Also, make sure to go to TripGaming.com. Look at this map, bro. Look at this sexiest match in the history of mankind. Go on www.TripGaming.com and get your mats right now. And with that being said, let's get into this video. Everything you need to know about Tier Limit, all the new cards. Let's go so we, before we get into the actual deck profile and showcasing what these cards actually do i want to discuss the cards that we'll be talking about so i want you to stay tuned for the entire video because if you're going to play tier limit this format you need to understand how all these cards work and the little tricks of these cards and how you can utilize them to clap your opponents off so the cards that we're going to be talking about that i don't think people understand how powerful they are some people they understand but number one is tier limit and grief Tillman Grief is unbelievably powerful. I'll explain it in this video. Tillman Scream, also unbelievably powerful. Uh, that I don't think people understand. Next, Bisted Cards, how powerful it is for this deck. As well as that will be uh, Sprite Sprint, which is vital. The new Tillman Fusion, which is probably the least good of all five. People think the new Tillman Fusion is like what breaks this deck. The new Tillman Fusion doesn't do jack shit. It's okay, it's not the worst, but... It's still a good card, obviously, but it's not remotely as good as the other four cards, uh, uh, engines that I mentioned. And lastly, how good it is with hand traps. So I'm going to mention uh, all of these six points. And Tillerman's Heartbeat, uh, more so the side deck card. I'm going to talk about all this. I'm going to get straight into the video, show you guys the deck list. Let's go. So first things first, if you guys look at the deck list, this is a pure Tillerman deck, okay? You are playing Bisted in a minor sprite engine, but there's a reason behind it. So the first card that we're going to discuss and why how powerful it is, which I want you guys to actually see the deck list, to understand what I'm talking about. It's Tier Limit Scream. Now stay tuned to the end of the video, okay? I know some people just fucking look at the deck list and just leave. Actually listen to this because it will seriously help you in all your duels in Yu-Gi-Oh. If you read Tier Limit Scream, what's your first thought that you think? You think, oh, you know, uh, if a card's normal sign, I could mill three cards. Whoa, I could mill three cards. Fantastic. No, no, no. That's not what this card does. This card does, is not a fucking Charge of the Light Brigade, okay? This card is Charge of the Light Brigade on fucking crack. Okay, so what does your Tealerman deck do? Your Tealerman deck mills. So you have like 25 cards in your deck that you just guarantee mill random cards. You get Kalos, Merle, Mill 8, whatever. This is another Tealerman grave effect that chain blocks your actual Tealermans going second and going first. Especially going second against a board of negates. This is vital. This is insane. The fact that it chain blocks both in the field and in the graveyard is game changing. And people don't understand that. Yes, it mills 3. But it's another grave effect that's literally just as good, if not better, than sending a tier limit. Have you ever milled Scream, searched Salyak, and then eventually Rhino effect from Grave sending the Salyak, adding back into the monster? It's free mills. There's no other tier limit spell that does this. This card is like a must. If you're playing pure tier limit, if you're playing these 12 tier limit monsters in your deck, if these, you see these 12 monsters, if these 12 monsters in your deck, you, you need to play three Tillerman Scream. This is not debatable, okay? Something else that Tillerman Scream does is it mills three on your turn, and then it mills three on your opponent's turn. It's another Havness. Doesn't it, does it feel nice to have a Havness? Uh, you know when you like have Havness in your hand, you feel safe. Tillerman Scream staying on the field equals a Havness. It mills three on your turn, it mills three on your opponent's turn. It does not say when a uh, Tillman monster is summoned. It says when a monster is summoned. That is so busted. What the fuck? Like, this card's insane. On top of that, it has a 500 attack uh, subtraction of your opponent's monsters, which is huge. Because when you have 500 boosts from Perlino and your opponent loses 500 monsters, your opponent cannot just enter battle phase. Your opponent, like, this is, this is important. You save a lot of stuff. Like you, a lot of your interruptions are saved, which might be stopped otherwise from your opponent just entering the battle phase. So this a card has like five effects, and they're all literally insane. 
Like, I would love, and on top of that, when it's on the field, it triggers too. So you could use that effect on the field, and then you could specifically pop it yourself with Perlino to search a trap with Salyak. Post side deck, you're getting cr uh, crime. So th this card is the first card I want to talk about, which is just absurd. The second card is Tillman's Grief. People don't understand how good this card is as well. So they're all three of us. Like, they're better than, than Perlino. I'm not joking. Both of these cards are better than Prime Vol Planet Perlino. So Parlino, here's what this card says. It says add one and then pop one, right? If if it resolves, this they all do the same thing. Like they, they they're literally better, but their name has they have Telemet in the name, which is infinitely better because now it makes it so you could you send Rhino with it when you need to. What Telemet Grief does. So this is not a real grave effect, but it doesn't matter because the monster the actual effect is insane. Special summon a Telemet or a Vice of Starfrost. I love Vice's Star Frost and I love Scare Claws. I think you need to play it in every Telemann deck. But I wanted to show you guys just a pure version. Even in pure, this is just mandatory. So here's what you do. You go Telemann Grief, right? Hear me out. Telemann Grief, send Rhino Heart. Special Rhino Heart. You could send the same thing you summon. Not many people know this. You send the same thing you summon. So it just becomes a foolish burial for Rhino Heart. And Rhino Heart sends S S Scream, sends Solyak. Send the actual Telemate. Like, you trigger all your Telemates at once just with Grief. Another play with Grief is this. Where you go, uh, Grief, uh, Special Merly, send the Tiel send the Havness of Sheeran to the field. Trigger Sheeran or Havness, Special Merly, Muse Merly, Chainlink 2. This is bo broken. Like, 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 the it's actually, it there's no, like, it it's, at the very least, it's a Foolish Burial. Like, when you go Foolish Burial or Rhino Heart, just go to Telemann Grief, Foolish Burial, the Rhino Heart, but it's a Telemann name. And you have the opportunity to special Merly or a Sharon or a Havness. You want to, like, it's just crazy. Like, they're both three ofs, and the fact that they have Telemann names is insane. Now, the one effect that people don't know about this, Telemann Grief also, what you could do, you go Telemann Grief, okay, special Merly, send Kalado Heart. It could send the Fusion, and it triggers the Fusion. It triggers Kalado. It triggers Kakalos. I mean, Rule Kalos, whatever this new card is called. That's absurd. And they just come back. So you could special this card, Rule Kalos, and then you could special Rhino Heart because of water, and then special this shit back. What the fuck? Like, like this card is so good. And one more thing that no one knows about this card. Dude, so many just genius stuff for you guys here. I told you guys, stay tuned on the video. Whoever's watching this whole video... Like, this information is... I'm, I'm an encyclopedia. I'm a doctor with this shit. I got a PhD in dueling. So I'm just sharing the knowledge with you guys because I love you guys. You're my people. Telemann Grief also specials from the graveyard. Which means that if you already went into your one Collado heart, okay, this is this is so insane. This is so crazy. You go Telemann Grief to special the Collado heart and then just send something else. Fuck, even send, even send this card itself. Special back Collado Heart from the grave. Like, use it, use Grief to special Collado Heart, send Collado Heart, trigger Collado Heart, special itself again, and then special some, send something else. Can you imagine how broken this shit is in the grind game? This is just insane. You need to play, like, like if you're playing pure tier limit, okay? Like, if you don't want to mix anything else, these 18 are just mandatory. And because Sully searches traps, you need two traps. You need two. You need to you go through both turn one. Like, you need two traps. And Sully is just the best one. You mill 18 times. So these 20 are like mainstays in your deck. Everyone agrees Perlino is a three of. Foolish Burial is almost cuttable because of grief, but it's still so powerful. Instant Fusion, obviously. And then next comes the Sprite Engine. So because of Sprite Sprint, okay? So you go Sprite Sprint every single turn. If you didn't already go Merly. Because you do this, you trigger the Merly for free. And you just get a free Merly, a Sprint, and Elf on the field. Allowing you to go into Gigantic Sprite. Allowing you to get the free Blue into Jet, into Smashers. With Blue and Jet going into Masquerina. So you just get all these free interruptions for nothing. Hard drawing the Blue and the Jet is good. And because you don't have any Mystic Might outs in this deck, having Smashers and Brand and Beast is nice. And to be able to dark a Blue or a Jet from your opponent playing Sprite is vital. It's huge. It makes this card crazy. And they're both Thunders for Curious. So it's a nice addition to the deck. It's not mandatory. But these first 25 cards are mandatory for the new version of Tailman.
The next card I want to talk about in Tillamant is Bisted. So, the reason why you need to play Bisted at the max engine is that they're great effects as well. Sending Lubellion or Serenir is amazing because you mill a lot. So, sending these are great. Sending Blue and Jet is great. You just summon the back off Elf. And you get Elf every turn. So, and on top of that, these are a Be it's Beatrice Turbo. Because the tier limits make Garura and one Bisted, you have 10 of them, it's just a level 6. You get to make Beatrice every single turn. Because you get to make Beatrice every turn, you get it's like a Curious every turn. Beatrice sends one on your turn, one on your opponent's turn. So it's even better than Curious because Beatrice will send one of these on your turn and on the next turn will send an Interruption to make another tier limit. So, and on top of that, the reason why Bisted, the, the, like, so much amazing knowledge for you guys here. The reason why Bisteds are most amazing in this deck is the deck naturally has 10 hand traps now. Naturally, without like zero bricks in the deck. No, you're not bricking on hand traps. Naturally, the deck plays 10 hand traps now. Havness in, the, in this version of the deck with three Scream and Selyak becomes like absurdly busted. So three Havness, three Magnema, three Sauronir, one Druid Worm. This is 10 hand traps post side deck when you're going second. You are now playing 22 hand traps, but you're only playing 12, which means you never brick. This to me is the most busted thing about this deck. That game one, you have 10 hand traps, you're good. Like it's not the worst, you know? And the deck destroys, this deck obliterates boards. Like it destroys boards without hand traps, but it naturally plays 10. That are in engine hand traps. It's like imagine Rocket Tracer was a hand trap. Imagine Sprite Red just magically a hand trap. It's like from hand. It's like the deck plays 10 Herald of Orange Lights without negging. They're pluses. It's insane. Never before in Yu-Gi-Oh! did this happen. And then when you pull side deck, you're able to play 22. And you don't brick. That to me is what brings this deck the highest. Like this is the purest version of Tier Limit and the best version of Tier Limit. I think after a few other versions that I have, shout out Scare Claws. Uh, that's the idea of the deck and why you need to play all of these new cards. Tier Limit Heartbeat is a card that I'm just playing post side deck against Mystic Mind decks. If you fear Mystic Mind, you just play one of them and you try and search it. Tier Limit Crime is a card that I'm playing post side deck to end on a Spell Trap Negate. And the deck goes Griffin every turn, so you side deck into the Eradicator. The new card, Tier Limit uh, Lugalos, whatever this card is called. Yeah, it's good, but like. All the other stuff I mentioned is just far more important. The difference between this and Draco's Topelia is not that crazy. It's not a huge like, like it's not insane, insane. It doesn't re does not play around Nibiru. Saying this plays around Nibiru is is stupid. Is a shit. They're just gonna Nibiru your entire fucking board and you end on one Lulu. That's not playing around Nibiru. That's ending on one interruption through Nibiru. Okay, it's not huge. It's not absurd. You know, like it's not crazy. Uh, and then on top of that, then this card is officially not Fusion Summon. So when it comes, it won't be able to come back again. So it, it is a great card. It's a good card. It's why we're playing it over Dragon's Topalia. But it's not miles better than Dragon's Topalia. Which is why people are thinking, like, this card is the most broken card. It's not even, like, the top five of the new broken cards in Tealament. So that's it for this video. I think I went really in-depth for you guys. It's like a full in-depth combinatorial. Not combinatorial, but, like, in-depth guide you guys need to know. You guys need to know. If you're going to play Tillamant in this format, like, I I spent, fuck it, you guys don't understand. I spent, like, 300 hours already on this format. Uh, I would love to share this knowledge with you guys. It's my job as a creator, content creator. I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this really in-depth video. I'm going to do different videos later on why Bistids are so mandatory, why all these other engines are so mandatory as well, and a, a bunch of stuff on Darkwing Blast, because I've done so much work on Darkwing Blast, that I want you guys to know all about this new info. I love you guys. And uh, make sure to smash the subscribe button if you guys got this far. Uh, I spent a lot of time researching this. So no problem. I got you guys. Uh, make sure to smash the subscribe button. I would love 100,000 subscribers. We're almost there. Also make sure to go on TripGaming.com. Get the most best trip Gaming play match in the history of mankind, baby. Get yours right now. We've got all sorts of play mats. Pendulum. Draco Slayers. Everything. I love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.